Yo, what's up, everybody? It is Thursday, the 26th of March, 2015, and I'm your host, Ant-Man. Thank you for joining me. I have an article in front of me from the ChristianPost.com. ChristianPost.com. It is by a guy who is a Christian Post reporter, Samuel Smith. This was published today. Did an Ivy League dean really welcome ISIS fighters to host a training camp on his campus? No, he didn't. ISIS has released a slicky, uh, slickly edited propaganda video showing boys as young as five being indoctrinated at a military-style training camp for Cubs, February 2015. I'll put that picture up as the thumbnail. A recently released undercover investigative video purports to show a dean at Cornell University telling a prospective Moroccan student that the school would welcome students groups to invite ISIS fighters to conduct training camps for students on campus, but the, but the school has since decried the video as misleading. Project Veritas, an investigative nonprofit film that claims to expose corruption, released a video on Tuesday where one of its re uh, reporters disguised himself as a student from Morocco looking to start a humanitarian group. The undercover reporter went to visit with Cornell's assistant dean for students, Joseph Scafido in his office to ask him questions that he has about starting up a student group on campus. After the reporter introduces himself, he then asks about what types of student groups, uh, student group activities Cornell allows and doesn't allow on its campus. I think maybe it'd be nice to start a humanitarian, <clears throat> excuse me, I think maybe be nice, oh, okay, yeah, kind of a mistype there, to start a humanitarian group that supports the distressed communities, a humanitarian group in the Middle East, northern Iraq, Syria, the reported said. I think it would be important for especially these people in the Islamic State in Iraq and Syria, the families and the freedom fighters in particular, and their families. What? Scafido nodded in agreement and assured the reporter that a number of students, uh, student groups on campus already provide humanitarian needs to those in distress around the world. The reporter further asked if Cornell would allow a student group to support the Palestinian militant movement, Hamas. The university is not going to look at different groups and say you're not allowed to support that group because we don't believe in them or something like that. Scafido explained, yeah, I got, if that didn't give you a crazy look either, I don't know what's wrong with you, man. Because that, that's postmodernism at its best. I think it's just the opposite. I think the university wants the, the the entire community to understand what's going on in all parts of the world. The reporter then got a little bolder in wording, uh, in the wording of his questions regarding the Islamic State, and asked about the possibility of bringing in a freedom fighter to speak with the group. Maybe you know, get a group that educates on the Islamic State in Iraq and Syria, and just educate people. Maybe bring them in. The reporter said, "Maybe we could bring in a freedom fighter to speak. Would that be possible?" That would be great just to hear the situation, what it is like, the, their lives and what they are fighting. I mean, do we know what they are fighting? Christianity, maybe? Infidels, they don't believe in what the Prophet Muhammad said, maybe? No? Good? Light? Love? <laughs> Other things that pretty much are given from God? All good and perfect things. Scafido responded saying that the school was open for groups to to bring in guests and stated that groups can apply for up to $5,000 in university funding to help pay for a speaker. He added that groups can host speakers in one of the school's academic halls in a or a uh, Bailey Hall, which holds up to 1,300 people. I think programs like that really do have a good place here at Cornell, Scafido said. The reporter then asked a follow-up question about whether the school would allow groups to bring in freedom fighters to hold training camps for students. Um, you know, uh, you would be allowed to do something like that. You would be allowed to do something like that, huh? Scafido uh, stated, it's just like bringing a coach to do a training on its sports team or something. Yeah. I guess jihad will be the next, like, you know, I guess we are really going back to, like, feudalism, neo-feudalism, because it's going to be like a sport to hunt Christians later on. I guess because that doesn't really bother them, I guess, what's going on in the Middle East. Maybe they don't really pay attention. I don't know if liberals pay attention to that. Are Cornell liberals? Huh. Probably. I don't know. Just I, I, If this is real, I hope it's not, because, I mean, who would be talking like this? This is absurd. This is absurdity. 
The reporter then asked the follow-up question. Oh, yeah, I just read that. You, da, 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 da. The video narrator, or the video's narrator, claimed about how Scafido's remarks clearly condoned ISIS training camps on Cornell's campus. We couldn't believe what he said, and we had to listen to the tape a couple times, the narrator said. Assistant Dean Scafido was actually comparing an ISIS fighter running a training camp to a coach working with a sports team. Since the release of Project Veritas' video, a number of news organizations have picked up the story and run with the sensationalism that a dean of a prestigious, prestigious Ivy League school was actually welcoming ISIS on his campus. In a statement issued to the Cornell Chronicle, Cornell President David Scorton called the Project Veritas video a shoddy piece of journalism and asserted that any notion that Cornell would allow ISIS training camps on its campus was ludicrous. Project Veritas, the organization behind the shoddy piece of journalism, has been repeatedly vi vilified for dishonest, deceitful activity, Scorton's statement reads. It is shameful that any individual would pose as a student facing radical discrimina racial discrimination at another university, ask leading questions on hidden camera about Cornell's tolerance for differing viewpoints and backgrounds, and then conveniently splice together the resulting footage to smear our assistant dean in our university. After speaking with Assistant Dean Scafido, I am convinced that he was not aware of what he was being asked. The statement continued. An op-ed written by uh, Jeff Stein of the Ithaca Voice explains just how deceitful the interviewer's questioning was. Why pretend to ask the Cornell official about a humanitarian group helping victims in Syria and Iraq if they want to learn Cornell's stance on the group uh, universally known as ISIS, Stein asked. We know the answer because the interviewer and Project Veritas founder James O'Keefe are more interested in getting a video they can use to grab attention than in actually learning what's happening on campus. Yeah, that's, that's a problem with media, isn't it? That a lot of people are using real issues to kind of use them as a way to get attention and use as like, um, yeah, a way to get attention. They don't, they're not, they're, their hearts are not in the right place. Um, you know what I mean? A lot of people try to come out as truthers, you guys, and like they're all about truth, but really they're just, they're, they're, their heart's not in the right place. They may be well-meaning people, I'm sure, but they're, they're either sellouts, they're either wolves in sheep's clothing, or they're using this, this like, all of this kind of like stuff that's going on, like real issues, as a way to just kind of like, um, just kind of cause a lot of like, sh like, I don't know, shock entertainment, I guess. But this is this is a serious issue for anybody to be downplaying what ISIS is doing in, in Syria and Iraq. Uh, having I've been praying for my brothers and sisters, man, that have to flee to Lebanon and to be refugees because of these people, man, these savages, these evil men. And they're and they, they pretend like, you know, oh, this is just normal, you know, oh, in the postmodern era, anything goes and we're indiscreet about religion and we just don't have any respect for authority and we just don't we don't have any you know the the thing about what happened with the dean is you know we live in a uh, we need to have a philosophical reformation where you know words have fixed meanings and plus you know what i mean like you can't be so politically correct and enslaved by what people think that you're going to compromise in what's right and wrong man because i think what a lot of people do like maybe this dean being you know targeted with all of this like dishonest questioning maybe he was probably, you know, caught off guard and he just didn't want to say anything to offend anybody. But that, isn't that like what the problem is nowadays is that people use offense as a way to, to steer violence and, and justify it? That's what, we need to, that's what we need to really bring into light. And not to take these, we should be outraged and, and demand an apology, you know what I mean? For people to be using this stuff so lightly as a way to get like, you know, propaganda and news and attention because this stuff is serious. If you want to turn your attention to what's going on in Syria and and uh in iraq it'll shock you and why don't you do something by sending those people some money and some food or something instead of just using the the news to 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 just you know um exploit them it's disgusting dude it is it's disgusting and you should dis you should abhor and and detest and uh shun all of this stuff man it's disgusting that people do this kind of stuff and you know what i mean um yeah you know it's just people have the right when you have the right heart to do journalism or to, to be exposing anything that's going on that's not right, corrupt, going on anywhere. I, I don't know, man. I should you, I should just tell you, man, I point people to God because without God, you don't know what's going on. Uh, the truth, you don't know if you know who God is. I don't think you know who you are. And you need to know that. So God bless you guys.
Look to the Lord Jesus Christ. He can save you and only He can save you. God bless.